So we now come to a mechanism figure 184, um, where instead of having a point tracing out our loops, um, we have a line which is uh, which envelops the, the ellipse. Um, the line uh, is tangent to the whole um, throughout the motion to the ellipse. And in fact, uh, this mechanism creates two lines at right angles uh, to each other, which uh, envelop the the, the, um, the ellipse. And, and there are some mechanical reasons why this might be a useful thing to do. Um, so let me share my screen to start working on this mechanism. So as usual, we'll put um, the axes up. We're going to want a point on the um, x-axis, and we're going to have a, a, a line going through that point. And we're going to also have another line um, from the origin and a further line uh, perpendicular to AC um, at C. Put that constraint in, in the perpendicularity. Um, we'll specify the length of this link. A and the distance between A and B, that B, and we'll specify an angle here, theta. Um, so that is my basic mechanism. Now, as it goes around, we're interested in the curve that this line envelops. Now, um, if we go to I had the point C selected, so my um, locus tool wasn't showing up. Now, the locus tool is not just a locus tool, it's also an envelope tool. So if I select a line, I get the envelope. If I select a point, I get the locus. Um, and there we have the locus of um, the uh, envelope, the curve enveloped by that line. Um, let me just animate it to get so you get the feel so you can see as the mechanism goes around this line stays tangent to that curve now it certainly looks like an ellipse let's um verify that by asking for this equation And indeed, uh, equation certainly looks like an ellipse. Now, there's a second aspect of this uh, model which uh, they, they discussed. They want a second line at right angles to the first line which envelops the ellipse. Now, the, if we look in the book, um, the idea is to create a um, another arm here, and they say this arm has to be um, a length a square root of uh, a squared plus b squared. And then we create a tangent. Uh, we sorry, not a tangent. We create a perpendicular through D. So overall, I'm good, but it, that does not, in fact, envelop the uh, curve. It, um, so, so this is not not correct. Um, so what should it be? Well, if we look what height, um, if we look this length, it's A. If we call this length C, what 
What should C be? Let's just change it a touch. And C should be about there, shouldn't it? Should it not? Now, what symbolically would that be? Well, it's going to be this length here. And the square root of this length plus this length. Well, what is the length from out here? Well, we can see as we move the as we move the mechanism round, that length has to be just a. And what is the extent of the y direction? Well, we can use Pythagoras. That's the square root of this distance is the square root of a squared plus b squared. Sorry, a squared minus b squared. Is that? So c squared has to be a squared minus b squared plus a squared. Or 2a squared minus b squared. And in fact, we see that indeed envelops the ellipse. 